Hi there YouTube, just wanted to do another quick video here. This is my case, this is going to be a knife collection video. And I uh, just wanted to mention, keep this locked, this is my sister's, I like to touch. And uh, you know, I got a niece too, so we all roommate right now, because we all moved here. But, first knife I got is probably my favorite fixed blade I own. This is a beautiful, beautiful knife. Now let me, I'll just keep it here. Fixed blade. This baby. I actually bought this thing for ten dollars at Big Five. Usually retails are like thirty. This four forty stainless. Made in China, but it's a great knife. I love it. Yeah. And I got this other one. It's a cheap, like, Rambo style. I got this thing for like seven, eight bucks at uh, Harbor Freight. It's a nice little knife. I have a car compartment in the handle, but I don't have anything in there. Because it's kind of like a throwaway knife if I had to. Or intend on keeping this much, but I just keep it because it's cool. And I like knives. And I have this MTech paracord handle. I didn't like the way it was wrapped, so I kind of rewrapped it. It came with a fire steel, but it sucked, so I didn't keep it. But I love this blade. I believe it's called Tanto Style. MTech. On this side, it has the uh, 440 stainless. The camera's having a hard time adjusting. Ah, there we go. U.S. design, crafted in China. But uh, I rewrapped the handle because I didn't like how it felt. I'm not an expert at paracord wrapping, but it's the best I could do. Then I got this little Smith sharpener. Paid like five bucks for that at Big Five. Check here. Where I live. Oop. This is actually what I got one of my knives in, but don't know why that's in there. I have this little card, credit card knife. It's honestly not that good of a knife, but I suppose if you needed it, maybe. But uh, it's not that great of a knife, honestly. And then I got my big boy. This is my Smith Guard. This is a big, beefy knife. I love how it feels in my hand, but it was too big to carry illegal legs when I lived in California to carry. It's a nice knife. Then I got this one. It's more of a novelty knife. It's an Oakland Raiders knife. Of course, I love the Oakland Raiders. That's why I bought it. Spring assisted. It's a joker. Pretty good. Pretty. I okay, really got it for the Oakland Raiders, but and this is another one. This is a Timber Wolf. I know that because re the tip broke, so I had to redo the blade. Really don't use this knife for much. I used to have a belt clip but that fell off. Then this is probably one of my favorite knives. I EVC this thing for months. It's a Marines knife. U.S. Marines. U.S. designed, officially licensed by USMC. It's an amazing spring assisted blade. And then I got this one. Which I did a review on not that long ago. But uh, get a little knife. I had one of those for years, so now they work. This is another one I got. It's my Sherfield. You've seen this in my first video. The awesome little knife. You can see that for probably a week, I think it was. Pretty good. Pretty good. And I got my Sherfield. Uh, multi tool. This actually came in a three pack from Walmart, which I will be reviewing that three pack. This one comes with a sheath. I keep it on my belt at all times. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And I got this little one. I believe I got this one as a gift, but I've seen them on Bud K. Works out great. Worked great for 
when I used it. And this knife, this knife is super special. It's one of my tinier ones, but this is the first knife I ever bought. I actually bought this when I lived in Nebraska when I was like 10. I'm shocked they sold it to me, but it's an amazing little knife. I'm going to give it to my son when I have one. don't have one yet. But uh, this is another Shurfield I got. got this one at Walmart. It's this, but I just opened it really quickly. <laughs> but it's an interesting little rainbow design. I thought it was cool. It was only five bucks. So I said, what the hell? The only disadvantage about this knife is this. It's a frame lock, I think is what that's called. And it's a pain to get back, especially one-handed. Fingers, like me. And these, this one, and this one. Couple neck knives I got from China off Ethan Weston logo, but I would guess somebody probably pays for that logo. Whoa, <laughs> that went. So this is another Tanto style. It's a Smith and Weston. It's not a bad little knife. Never actually EDC this one because I'm not too sure if neck knives are legal where I live. They were definitely not legal where I used to live. That's for sure. And I, pretty good knife overall. And that all in addition to the other two knives I keep on my EVC at all times. The little one, the pocket kit. And then, of course, my probably my favorite knife I bought from Walt Kershaw. It's a great blade. I actually contemplating buying this, but it's a great, great blade. But I uh, just want to get that video done my knife collection so far now it will definitely be growing because what am I <laughs> every time I get paid I'll buy a couple knives so I will probably have to get another one of these containers uh, I bought this one at Walmart it's uh I don't know what brand it is it's a nice little case it's worth the 12 bucks I paid for it and uh, well that's been my knife collection like it's been cheap survival Run out.